Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please consider hitting that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and check out the sponsor of this video, ToyHacks.com. Hi, I'm Bert the Stormtrooper, and this is the Legacy Generation 2 Laser Optimus Prime, and I love this toy. But he's missing that Generation 2 look, that colorfulness that the original toy had. Hey, Bert! <laughs> Hey, Patriot Prime, where did you come from? It's the internet, man. Anything's possible. Here, put these ToyHacks.com decals on your Laser Optimus Prime. I think you'll get that G2 look that you're looking for. Whoa, dude, you got to show me how you do that. All right, awesome. Let me put these on and uh, let me get right back with you. A few moments later... Holy crap, Laser Prime now looks amazing. He looks just like the original toy, thanks to Toy Hacks, and thanks to you, Patriot Prime. You are welcome. Not only does Toy Hacks make decals for the modern Transformer figures, but they also make reproduction decals for the vintage G1s. Check out their toy stages to find a cool backdrop for your collection display and visit the Toy Hacks Armory. They have a wide variety of weapons in multiple colors. And don't forget, each purchase with ToyHacks.com adds RoboSense to your account that you can use for future purchases. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And don't forget, tell them Patriot Prime sent you. The featured figure in this review is Transformers Studio Series Core Class Exosuit Spike Witwicky. He's actually Transformers the Movie, so he should be a Studio Series 86 figure, but they dropped that for this core class. So if you follow my channel at all, I just did a quick look at this figure and the QC issues that he has as far as discoloration. If you look right here, he is discolored on the wheel and arm. So I got this figure. I'm going to return this, ordered another one, and this one showed up with the same QC issue, just not as bad on the same shoulder. So it is what it is. I've already done a review or a video on that. I'm not going to rehash that. So I figured I'm just going to go ahead and do a review of this guy before I send him back. So Quick look at the packaging. It's your new core class packaging with some great artwork of Exosuit Spike right there. You got Spike behind the non-window packaging right here. Transformers the movie. Transformers Exosuit Spike Witwicky. Here on the back you see Spike in the Exosuit and in his vehicle mode. So that's pretty much it for the packaging. So without further ado, let's take a look at this figure that no one asked for. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. Now, once you get Exosuit Spike Witwicky all opened up and out of the packaging, you'll see he does come with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, is very well illustrated and easy to follow. He also comes with these two little yellow blast effects. And word of warning, these are wrapped in tissue paper and taped on the back of the insert that Spike is attached to. So don't throw them away. Now both of these are exactly the same. And unlike the other blast effects that we're used to, these seem to be made out of a harder material. Like this right here, very pliable and squishy. This one, not so much. Then, of course, you've got Spike Witwicky himself. And just straight out of the packaging, man, this guy, he just seems lacking. Uh, first off, I'll show you here. Mine, this is the second one I bought, has a little bit of discoloration right there on the shoulder joint already. 
It's like he's been sitting in the sun for a while, but it is what it is. Like I said, I already went over that, but look at the head sculpt and the severe lack of paint applications. The hair looks good, but man, couldn't they give him some eyebrows or some eyes? He just looks, just looks weird, just dead inside. There is some paint applications on the chest with the red and the yellow here, a little bit of blue, but that's it as far as paint is concerned. So yeah, just really disappointed about the head right there. And another thing about the head, if you turn him around, he's got a big hole in the back of his head. It's like uh, Hot Rod just got fed up with his crap and blew his brains out. Don't know why that is right there. Oh, he also has an action feature with this little lever on the back. You move that back and forth and he can turn his head. Ooh, I mean, you don't see action features like that anymore. So he's got that going on and really, I don't know, that, that's, that's just kind of lame. And right here on the lever, he's got paint scraped off. So you got the discoloration here on the, sh the joint, paint scraped off there. He does have pretty decent molding details, sculpted details on him. Not too bad, like the little jet pack there on his back. And I don't know, that's about all I can say about the figure. Posability. So he's in this weird T pose right now. You can bring his arms down to the side, like so. There's a little hinge right here. So he can kind of look like that. There's actually a lot of posability in the arms, but nothing that really looks natural. But that's given since this is kind of a exosuit, mech suit sort of thing. You know his arms are not in here. They're in the chest. You know, he's kind of piloting with joysticks, I guess. Never could figure out how they fit in the exosuit. So he, the arms can do a, almost a complete 360. I mean, there's a lot of range of motion there. They can go back and forth. There is a, I guess that's an elbow bend, if you get it just right. You've got an elbow bend right there and the forearm can rotate on this little section here. Now I do like the molded in blasters right there above the fists. And let's see, we'll get the blasters here in a moment. Moving on to more articulation, the legs are on ball joints. They can go back, they can go forward, they can go out, they can go in. There is a knee bend. Actually it's a double knee bend due to transformation. No articulation at the feet whatsoever. And another thing with this guy you're probably hearing, he sounds like a baby rattle. And that's the wheels attached there at the ankles. So moving on to the blasters. I said he's got molded in blasters right there above the fist, but to get that blaster look from the movie, you actually rotate the arms around just like so. So there we have these and oh look, more paint scuffs. So yeah, QC all over the place with this guy. So transform him like so, and we'll get the two blast effects, peg those in, and those are a nice tight fit. The harder plastic really puts those on there really good. So now you've got him in blast down the acid cover sun mode. Of course it wasn't him that blasted the acid cover down, it was Daniel, but that's the look right there. And in, just in case you're wondering, regular blast effects can fit on just as well. So there you have that. So now let's get uh, Exosuit Spike transformed into his vehicle mode. So what you're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and rotate the arms to where, let's see. Rotate these around. I'm trying to remember. Okay, we'll make sure the thrusters are on top. So get the wheels rotated down, then take his head and rotate as well. So you got these little white sections that are going to cover up his face. Then you're going to bring the arms up and around like so. And there's actually a little section right here. If I can get this. You wanna line up this little slot right here in the arm to match up to this slot here on his waist. So 
Got that one snapped into place. Let's do the same here. Move the arm down and around and snap that in place. And so now I got the front half all finished. Now for the rear, you want to peg the legs together after, I'm sorry, I missed a section. You want to rotate around at the knees. Go ahead and peg the legs together, a little slot right there. And now you're going to bend these legs up on that secondary hinge. It's really tight. You can see them right there. I got to get those up just so. I'm probably going to pop the arms out of whack. Should have done the legs first. These are really, really tight joints. So when you're trying to push them up, they cause the whole leg to move. I did this earlier and it was a pain in the butt then too. So, all right, there's one. <laughs> I hate how that thing sounds like a baby rattle, driving me nuts. All right, so there we go. You want that look going on. So peg those legs back together, put the arms back in place. That was way more complicated than it should have been for what this figure is. So there you have Spike in his vehicle mode. So you angle the legs like so, so the wheels will line up to the wheels there on the shoulders. And yeah, there you go. He actually rolls pretty good, but looks terrible. Like I said, I don't know how his body fits in there. I know the arms don't go here, but I'm pretty sure he may have broke a leg or two. So you can take the blast effects, peg those in for some exhausts. And there you go. He is just taking off and enjoying cruising around in his exosuit. So yeah, that's, that's something that is, that's something right there. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers Studio Series Core Class Exosuit Spike Witwicky with War for Cybertron Trilogy Netflix Bumblebee, Studio Series 86 Hot Rod, and Kingdom Core Class Optimus Prime. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Exosuit Spike Witwicky is just not a good Transformers toy. I appreciate what Hasbro did trying to bring us a Spike Witwicky figure, but man, they dropped the ball on this one. For one, you got the cheap plastic that's discoloring already. You've got the paint scuff on the figure already. I mean, straight out of the packaging. No paint on the face, and he's just lacking. I mean, he's hollow, he rattles, and Hasbro, I think you could have done a lot better. I mean, the only thing that this figure has going for it, he's a better figure than his son, Daniel. So there you go, guys. Transformers Studio Series Core Class Exosuit Spike Witwicky. So does a Transformers Studio Series Core Class Spike Witwicky belong in your collection? Absolutely not. I am not a fan of this toy. I think this figure is a piece of junk and... It was just a quick cash grab. There's a lot of missed opportunities that they have could have done with this guy. And I just feel he really misses the mark. You got the QC issues for one. You've got no paint apps on the face, especially the eyes. He just looks weird. And he's got a big hole in the back of his head. So, yeah, this one is just not highly recommended at all. And I think is an easy pass unless you find him on clearance. And even all the nostalgia he brings just really doesn't justify paying full price for this guy. Because to be honest, this figure here is a piece of shit. Ah! Now guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new videos. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I have a new super thanks button thanks to YouTube, and I also offer channel memberships. And I have to give a huge shout out to all my current channel members because it's support like yours that helps keep this channel going. Once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime signing out.